get stuff added to uh, over time. At one point, I remember actually finishing the, everything that it had to offer while it was in early access, because I only had a, a handful of levels. But now it's got heaps, it's massive. Of course you'll be better once you understand what you're doing a bit, a bit better, but that's... That's how it works. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to say yesterday as well. I um, I did go ahead and order uh, Super Mario 3D All Stars from Amazon rather than uh, because I have I did put a, t a ten dollar deposit on a pre order from uh, eBay Games, but um, I'm not going to be able to go pick it up because they won't be. I, well, I didn't think they would be open by then because lockdown had been extended. But now lockdown has been. Oh, that now I've received an email from EB saying that you can do click and collect at all their stores. So it's like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I could have just picked it up from there, but I've got it hit cheaper from Amazon anyway. So ho hopefully Amazon is able to deliver it um, by Friday when it comes out. And I'll be able to stream some Super Mario 64 once we finish um, Diagon Alley. Or maybe we'll like stream a bit of it before I finish Diagon Alley so we can uh, have a little bit of a break. Yo, you have click and collect from JB for next Friday. Nice. Yeah, I, I well, yeah. So EB today has sent out an email saying that they're offering click and collect now. Um, but I pre-ordered yesterday from... Amazon, so now I've got two pre-orders for the damn game. Um, but it is slightly cheaper at, at Amazon, so I'll probably just stick to the Amazon order and cancel my one from EB. But good to know you're getting it as well. Although I guess you won't be speedrunning uh, 64 on it given you were uh, saying yesterday that it's a different version. What does it say? What does Bombstar say? I don't know if you've gotten far into it, but does Moonlight have a fair amount of action when you get out at night? That's one of the things I was hesitant about. Uh, it seems like it does. Well, apparently there are tough monsters in the dungeons at night, but you get better loot too. And you don't have to go out at night either. I think you can just go during the day. <laughs> it, just, it does seem like a very fun game. Yes, Moonlighter is on the Switch. I believe it was on sale for $15 or so. Sidewell. Super Mario 64 community is thinking it's a different version, but unconfirmed. Regardless, I'm pretty keen. Okay, cool. Yeah, when I, if I, well, when I stream it, it'll be a very casual playthrough. Um, simply because I never actually finished it as a kid. And it's really about time I got around to playing it all the way. Whoa. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Square Game. Appreciate that very much. It sounds about right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it because I was looking at it this morning. So this is the same build that all the other sets have come with. It's another one of these uh, inventory little stands to show your character's health and what they've currently earned. Hello, I'm discovering small streamers and decided to follow you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Very kind of you, Adrian. I hope you enjoy your time here in the Square Gang. Square Gang! Rise up, we have been oppressed for too dang long. I stream Lego pretty much once a week at this rate, but I have a very large Lego Harry Potter Diagon Alley set arriving on Monday. After I ordered it five minutes after it launched last Tuesday at midnight, like Tuesday morning. 
and uh, it only just shipped <laughs> on Thursday. I'm only a little butthurt about it, honest. But it is arriving tomorrow, and we'll be building a lot of that. that that's going to take a lot of time to, to stream. Uh, but otherwise, I play games. I'm actually I just started a new game in Pokemon Shield, so if you like Pokemon, you'll be able to watch some of that. Uh, <clears throat> I love the graphics and the gameplay sound great now too. Look, we got we got Barnstar into the game as well. Every, the whole Square game is going to be playing Moonlighter. That would actually be really cute because then we could all talk about it on the Discord and stuff. Uh, maybe I'll try showing you. No, I'll, I'll just. I'll just. Ah, oi! Don't get away from me that easily, Cole. Come back here. Five thousand Lego set piece is big stream. Yes, it is. We have a Discord. We we do have a Discord, Corn. It's. A shock to me too. Alright, let me turn off autofocus here. Okay, so we have coal. Uh, thing is, when I put it up to the camera, I can't see it on camera. There we go. So this is our first coal minifigure on this wave. Back, the armor of course has the uh, place to put the the hook that covers up the back print. So, ah, oh, thank you for contributing some points to Steamed Hams, Cloakroom, Corn, and Adrian. We're gonna get there very soon. And there is the back print and the full look at the front print. Nice. I like the uh, detail of the like dragon or lion buckle or whatever that is at the top left. It's nice. Let me see if it's going on with steamed hands. Well, you'll have to contribute to the uh, to the goal and find out. And the face print without the uh, ninja mask on. And the alternate face as well. His angry eyes, just in case. Put him on his angry face. Oh, I didn't put his uh, armor back on. Points only go to the hair. Oof. Doing the rest of the community dirty, man. Fair enough, that's your choice. Okay. Not a minifigure goes over there. Oh, you did redeem for another portrait. I completely forgot. I don't know what you want from it, though. I already did yours. Uh, what? And it was so good as well. What do you want from me? You can give me a refund if you want. Maybe I'll just keep your points for a rainy day. 